Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. So in this tutorial series we are going to make food panda clone app and we will be making three apps. One is for users, sellers and riders. So as you can see we already have an app and this is for users and you can see there are restaurants like Burger Express and Kachi Bhai and we can go to select any restaurant and select any menus and as you can see we have beef burgers and under this menu we have beef burger item so if we select an item and add to cart we can increase it like one or two so if we add to cart then you can see here this add item added successfully and in our card there is one item so if we want to add another item from let's say we want to add from kachibai we can do that so there is this chuijal recipe and kachi so let's select um, chuijal and we can see our item and we can also add this one to cart so item add successfully and now if we go to cart and here we can see our cart list and if we hit checkout then we can select an address let's select our existing address and hit proceed and then we can place order and then we can see uh, our flutter toast congratulations your item added successfully so if we go to our my orders uh, my orders then we can see these two items and if we select then you can see that order processing and now let's go to our riders app and in our rider app you can see that new available there are six card and you can see new available orders parcel in progress not yet delivered history and total earnings and if we select new orders available new available orders so you can see these two item that our user selected so if we select that and we confirm to deliver then we can see show restaurant location on map we can see our restaurants location on the map so if we go to google map we can see this is our google map so if we go back and select order has been picked then we can see our delivery drop off location so as i have same address for restaurants and uh, restaurants and users so in our google map it sh says we have arrived so order has been delivered then we can see in our history that there is this two item that has been delivered so if we go to our users app then we can see that in our history section we actually received the order so and if we go to our sellers app let's say this is our sellers app so food fund food panda sellers so we can see our menus we can add another new menu uh, from here we can capture with camera or select from gallery let's select from gallery so let's select this french fries we can uh, give a title like french fries and info should be like burger x 
Dresses French fries and if we click here on add then we can add the menu and it says add new menu so you can see this is our french fries so in our french fries we can add an item so we can select from gallery and add a new we can add change the image let's select french fries French fries info should be special French fries or something like that. And in description, we can add something like French fries one is to one, and price we can give it like 150. And now if we hit add then we can see that our item has been added so from our menu we can see there is this french fries and we can also delete this item if we want to delete the item and now if we go to our users app then under this sorry this is our writers app so if we go to our users app then under burger express we can select the french fries you can see french fries 150 taka so now now we can let me show you another thing and let's say that our mm, sellers restaurant is closed so we can actually close the restaurant with this toggle switch so if we hit close I mean if we close the restaurant then it's going to show restaurant is closed and we can no longer order food from this restaurant we can still access archivai but we can't access restaurant so this is what we are, we will be making in the tutorial series hope you are going to enjoy it so stay tuned thank you